afternoon. Welcome to my Cardinal RG. My name is Keith Peterson, and I'm up over Illinois here on a sunny afternoon. A little bit bumpy up here. Thought I'd show you a couple things that I like to do when I'm up flying around. One of them is called a Dutch roll, something I occasionally do with people who are just learning to fly. Help them understand what adver adverse yaw is and what it does. So this maneuver just is a pivot around a point. We're just going to rotate back and forth around a flying in the same direction. Let me show you what happens if you do that without a rudder. When we put an aileron, the aileron deflection creates a drag, which actually works counter to the turn. You see how the nose swings back and forth? So that's an uncoordinated turn. Now let's get organized. Now I'll use the rudder to do hopefully just about the right amount of compensation for that adverse yaw. <laughs> get through that little bump. So now with the rudder in place, see we can swing around the nose like that. The nose pretty well stays planted. Also a good thing to do when you're just flying a new plane. Uh, you don't know how the rudder and aileron interconnect works. Let's just do a few of those. You kind of get a feel for how the rudders and the aileron work together. Older airplanes have a lot more adverse yaw generally. Newer airplanes have less. So it's a nice way just to get a feel for the airplane. If you're just up flying around with somebody on a nice evening, I don't recommend doing that. It's a lot more fun to do than it is to fly along or ride along with.